Okay, we're going to look at uh, 3D Pythagoras, or Pythagoras' theorem with 3D shapes. So here we've got a cuboid. Uh, the cuboid's got a width of 15 centimetres, a length of 20 centimetres, and a height of 10 centimetres. And the question wants us to find the length uh, through the diagonal from the top left-hand corner, so from this corner to the bottom right-hand corner here. So it wants to know the length of the diagonal going from one corner to the other side of the corner through the shape. Okay, now, if I want to work out the length of this diagonal here, actually, let's draw that diagonal along, the length they want us to work out. So they want us to work out this length here, going through the shape. So that goes from the top corner to the upper corner. Imagine you're in a room, so it's from the top corner of one room to the bottom corner of the other. Oh, so the bottom, top corner of the room to the bottom corner, opposite corner. So, we want to find that length, okay? Now, before I find that length, what I need to do is I need to figure out what shapes are in that. So, I've got the vertical side here. And then, also, I would want to find the length of the diagonal along the bottom here. So, if I had, so I know the height of it is uh, 10 centimetres. The height is 10 centimetres here, so that's 10 centimeters. Uh, what I want to do is I want to find the length here going through the bottom from one corner of the rectangle to the bottom corner of the rectangle and then I would know the base of the the triangle or the, the base of the triangle and then I would find out the longest side of the triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Pythagoras' theorem on the rectangle on the base. So the rectangle is 15 centimeters across and 20 centimeters long. If you use Pythagoras' theorem you can find the longest side of that, uh, the longest side of this right angle triangle here. So using this right angle triangle on the bottom, so this one, you can use Pythagoras to find the length of the diagonal. Once you find the length of the diagonal, you can use the 10 and that one to then find the longer side of that triangle, the 3D one there, going through the ship. So let's use Pythagoras here. So for this triangle, here on the base. One side, A, is 15, the other side, B, is 20, and we're trying to find the longest side on the base of the triangle. So we're going to find C. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So 15 squared plus 20 squared equals the hypotenuse squared, the C squared. Fifteen squared is two hundred and twenty-five. Twenty squared is four hundred. When you add them together, that gives you c squared. So that is six hundred and twenty-five equals c squared. You square root that, square root of six hundred and twenty-five, and that is twenty-five. So c equals twenty-five. So on the base of the cuboid, the diagonal of the base of the cuboid is twenty-five centimeters. That then tells us for the red triangle to find the length of the diagonal through the shape. We've got the height of it is 10, the base of the triangle is 25, and we want to find the diagonal. So let's label that triangle now. So, off the red triangle, A, the smallest side, is 10. B, the, uh, the other short side, is 25, and the longer side would be the one opposite the right angle, which is C, the side we're looking for. So, A squared, let's just move this, A squared, plus b squared equals c squared. So 10 squared plus 25 squared equals c squared. 10 squared is 100, 25 squared is 625, and add them together, it gives you c squared. That's 725 equals c squared. You want to find the length of c, so you square root that. So the square root of 700, 725 gives you c. So the square root of 725 is 26.925, which is approximately, run it to one decimal place, 26.9 centimeters. So the length from one corner of the cuboid to the opposite corner of the cuboid is 26.9 centimeters to one decimal place. Okay, in this question, we've got a square base pyramid. And we've been asked to find the length of AT. So AT is from the bottom left-hand corner 
vertex uh, to the top right hand corner, top vertice uh, vertex of the shape, the apex of the pyramid. So, uh, we've been asked to find the length of AT uh, using Pythagoras' theorem. Looking at the sides that we've got though, we can't do that straight away. What I would want to do is on the shape, I would want to first of all look at the square on the bottom. And I would want to find the length of the diagonal. And I'll just get my ruler. And so, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to consider the C with the square. And we're going to cut it into two triangles. So let's cut it from A to C. So if I cut it from A to C, and then if I draw one of the right angle triangles, obviously if you cut a square in half, you get two right angle triangles through the diagonal. Uh, so here we've got a right angle triangle. You can see this is a right angle here and it doesn't quite look like it. And we've got 8 and 8. So what we're going to use, we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of the diagonal going through the square on the bottom, to find the length AC. Once we find AC, then, once we get this AC, then we've got the height and we've got the diagonal. So we'd have one short side and the other short side and we'd be trying to find the hypotenuse, the long diagonal. So, yes, use Pythagoras' theorem first of all to find the length of AC. Okay, this one here. So, A squared, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A, one of the short sides, 8 squared plus 8 squared equals AC squared. So 8 squared plus 8 squared equals AC squared. 8 squared is 64, so you get 64 plus 64 equals A squared. 64 plus 64 is 128, and that equals AC squared. So we're going to need to square root that. So the square root of 128 equals 11.31. Uh, now, it's important here, because this isn't a whole number, that you don't round this, okay? So, AC equals 11.3137085. I would not round that answer for the rest of the question. I would keep that for, you know, as in the question, okay? Because you don't want to round before you get to the final answer. So this length here, AC, is 11.3137085. So this length here. Now, we were asked to find the length of AT. So if I just could draw that right angle triangle. Let's see if you can spot it now. Uh, so for AC, if we're trying to find AT, what we'd do is we'd use AC, so this one. We'd use the height here. And you would obviously use AT. And you can see that's a right angle triangle there because obviously that's going to be a right angle. So AT is the hypotenuse, AC is one short side, and CT is the other short side. So we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem for that. So, I'll sit here. Uh, so, um, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A is one of the short sides, so 4 squared plus B is the other short side, so 11. 0 0.3137085 squared equals c squared. Okay, so uh, 4 squared is 16 plus, handily I haven't had to, uh, to uh, use that yet, so I've got my 11.3137085. I'm going to square that. That's going to give me 128, because that's what we square rooted in the previous one. So we get 128 for that. And that equals C squared. 16 plus 128 is 144. And that equals C squared. Oh, that's a square number. And whenever we square root 144, we get 12. So C equals 12 centimeters. So this length here is 12 centimeters. And that's it.